Let's talk about the German DAX. It's down with about 2% when we're doing this market update and other stock markets as well are risk of trading lower. All right, so this is the German DAX and um, I turned bearish this morning because I've been bullish for quite some time looking to buy on some of these dips. And we had a few ideas, uh, effectively uh, looking to buy here for this to go up. And then when we came down to the same spot here, the idea was to buy again. But you can see how the market actually slid to the downside here. And it's going quite quickly now, just because we had this very, very low, uh, sorry, this consolidation period here with very little activity. So effectively, people that started to buy here on November 10th, which is more than a month ago, like a majority of them uh, are losing money, especially these people here that got involved from November 24th. So th these people here are getting their uh, position stopped out now or closing manually. And we we're dealing with a bit of a double top and then you have that low and that was gonna give us a target of 12,935. Uh, and when I did this analysis actually just about an hour ago, we we're trading here and I said, we're probably gonna go a bit lower and yeah, it went quicker than I thought it would do. And uh, what's the next here then for the German DAX? Well, unless you are already short, from around these levels, I think it'd be too late and there's not too much we can do. But well, if I was short, I would keep it for maybe a bit longer, close out a bit and maybe close out the rest here if possible. If not, try to shorten the bounce. What's quite interesting as well is that you're seeing sort of reversals in the germ and the S&P 500 as well. So as you know, I've been bullish and looking for this to trade higher and higher. And we have been in an uptrend and several times we have been able to uh, work uh, with this uptrend um, and let's see here that was one low and then usually you have this level here but when we traded below this level down here the situation turned bearish so in the S&P 500 right now we are dealing with a downtrend and what's happening here is much as we've seen in for example the German DAX which is the fact that we're going upwards and here you have much more move to the upside, which is good. But then ultimately when we should have traded higher, so when we start to take out some of these highs here, we should have gone much higher, but the market didn't. Instead, we just struggled uh, and that is causing disappointment. So what's the game plan here then? Well, I would short the German DAX, you know, uh, on a bounce. I mean, technically, if you look at this from a big picture perspective, by the way, this is back to German DAX. If we just take Fibonacci, then you have some more aggressive targets here. First Fib, 50 Fib. So you, if, you, if it bounces and you want to sell and then we go down, then, then we can go down. Now, I'm going to tell you here full transparency as well. I'm not a big fan of shorting markets, but if this could be some targets if you happen to be bearish. Here, the situation could be more of, for example, maybe trying to revisit these levels down here on the S&P 500. Uh, maybe down here and and then not really trading much lower than 35 11 but for now i think this is going to be a situation where we go up down up and down but it's going to be a, a difficult one and then the nasdaq 100 as well this is definitely a bit of a disappointment i trade this myself actually um, so this is a large ascending triangle and it did suggest that we're going to go up with some 12 percent uh, but that failed because we went up and then crashed on the back of uh, the US government and some 48 states suing Facebook. Uh, and now we're sort of still a bit of a mild bullish bias above this level. So it might be able to recuperate and break a higher, but I will give this a bit of time. For now to end the short term bearish uh, trend, we would need to push above 12,461. So I will give this a few more days to see what's gonna happen. Uh, again, with the S&P 500, they're going to go up and maybe drift a bit lower, and then we'll see what happens. But I think from a big picture perspective, I will be more interested to buy at 3,350. And then with the German DAX, because there's not too much stopping price when we trade below this level, one could potentially sell here. So you get the correction and then try to push this to the downside. And then we just have to see what happens, because it could be that this just turns into some sideways price action. So for example, here, uh, you would see the market just start to trade range bound like that. So it's not like super uh, clear that we're going to trade much lower. But for now, 
I'm not, that's not what I'm assuming. I'm assuming I'm going to go up and then down and then up and then down. And that, guys, concludes today's market update. If you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you.